Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short LibreOffice Writer tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a bulleted or a numbered list. So the first thing you're going to want to do, if you don't already have some information prepared beforehand, is go up to the formatting toolbar. That's this one on the bottom by default that has these drop down menus. Scroll over and look to the right of highlight color where you have bullets on or off or numbering on and off. What bullets on and off will do is create a bulleted list, no numbering involved, so by default that's going to be a circle, and numbering on and off will create a numbered list. Alternatively, if you don't like the defaults, for instance the little circle for the bulleted list, you can click on the drop down menu from the same location and use one of the other bulleted lists, clicking on more bullets if you want to find even more options, but for instance we can use a diamond bullet instead of a dot. And once we have that set up, the cursor is going to be automatically placed to the right of our first bullet. So we can go ahead and start typing in information for our list. So I'm going to put list item 1 here, just kind of generic information. And once you are complete with your first bullet, all you need to do is hit enter on your keyboard and it will automatically add the next bullet. So now we can start typing in the second bullet item and the third one and so on. Now uh, once you are actually done with your bulleted list and you want to continue with your document as normal, just hit enter on the next bullet item without actually typing anything in. So enter and it returns us to uh, default paragraph typing. So let's go ahead and do one for the numbered list as well click on numbering on and off and you'll notice for these two that there are actually shortcuts. You can hit F12 on your keyboard or shift F12 if you want bullets instead. So I'm going to hit just F12 on our keyboard to create a numbered list. Like before, you can of course style it differently. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start typing in some information. Maybe a moose, a chicken, but then we get to the third item, and we actually want a nested list item. So when you're typing a bulleted list and you want to have something on the next level of the list, uh, basically like a child member of, let's say, this chicken item right here, hit tab from the new bulleted item, and it will basically put it on the second level of this uh, numbered list. So maybe a chicken is a bird and it has feathers. And then I go to the third item and we can even make it a third level of the list by hitting tab again. So let's go ahead and add something in like a chicken can have yellow feathers and I guess a chicken can also have red feathers as well. But you'll notice that with this list, every level of it kind of is the same because it's got the same formatting, the number and then a dot, and then the number and a dot. That's actually a little bit confusing to look at. So what we can actually do is when you have any area of one of the levels selected, like I'm clicking here, the cursors on bird, which is on level two, we can change the formatting of just that level by going up to the drop down menu and changing it to something else. So a common way would be to start with one, two, three, four, five for the first level, and then make it A, B, C, and D for the second level. So I'll go ahead and click that there. And now the first level, every item is numbered, but the second level, it's uh, basically listed in an alphabetical order. And we can go to the third level and do the exact same thing. So maybe we go to Roman numbers here. And uh, now every, every level, each of the three levels of our list is uh, different enough from each other that you know which one you're looking at without even uh, taking into account the tabs. So let's go back to the bulleted list and I'll show you that we can do exactly the same thing there. And by default, I, I guess it already kind of does that for you. But you hit tab, it brings you to the second level of the list. And we can say second level. Likewise, if you want to change whatever symbol it's using, we can do that with the drop down list. So maybe we make that arrows. Then we hit enter and tab again, and we get to the third level, and the fourth level, and you can basically carry this on indefinitely. So that's a quick rundown of using
bulleted and numbered lists inside of LibreOffice Writer. I've been Chris, I hope this helped you out, and if it did, feel free to check out my Patreon and cast me a couple shekels. Aside from that, I'll see you in my future videos.